everyone, today I'm quarantine baking. <laughs> um, banana, uh, Greek yogurt banana bread. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients. So we have, we have two large eggs we're gonna be using, two medium ripe bananas, and I mash them. Then we're using one fourth cups of plain Greek yogurt, what's in here. And we have one and a half cups of coconut sugar, but we didn't have that, so we're just using using regular sugar. Then we have one TS tablespoon tablespoon of vanilla ext extract. Then another one tablespoon of baking soda. Then we have one fourth tablespoon of sea salt or regular salt, whatever you can use. Then we have one and a half cups of all purpose flour, what's in here. Then we are adding one and a half cups of chocolate chips. So let's get started. So so the, we, are pre, we already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. In a large bowl, mix lightly, beat the yolk until it breaks apart. Mix the banana, yogurt, and sugar, and vanilla until smooth. Thank you. Yeah. So I need to crack two large, two, in a large mix bowl, lightly beat the eggs. Okay. So now with they're all beaten, the eggs, eggs, I said, the yolks are breaking apart. Now I'm gonna add the bananas, yogurt, sugar, and vanilla to and mix till smooth. So I have my bananas. Now I'm just gonna pour it in here. Now we have yogurt. I'm gonna try to get all of it in. And then I need to add the sugar and vanilla. So sugar is right here. And vanilla. smooth. It already smells really good. And I'm gonna try to make sure they can get the sides down. Okay. So the baking soda and salt. Stir the baking soda and salt. Salt. So it's all smooth. That's what it looks like. Stir the in the baking soda, the salt. Finally, spoon the flour and gently stir until it combined. If you're adding, okay. So I need to add the baking soda and salt. So the baking soda. Now we 
have so it says to find the final spoon in the flour gently stir so spoon. this is what it means i'm going to do this a little bit at the time so i don't want it going everywhere so i'm going to do like half and half And then I, after I add all the flour, I need to add the chocolate chips in the bowl. Or into the batter mix. It's getting thicker a little bit at a time. So. I don't want it, the flour to go everywhere because that happened to me before. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna just pour the rest in. or any nuts or whatever you want to add into it. So I'm adding chocolate chips. I want to get all of these even too. Okay, so I'm going to bake this and spray the pan and put it in, and I'll come back to you in 40 to 45 minutes when it's baked. So, it's not done yet. It's off. We have like 10 more minutes, but I just realized that for the recipe, I used the TBS instead of tablespoon. And you see it's a much difference, but that was only for the vanilla and baked soda, so my mom said it wouldn't be that bad. But, but like, I feel it would just be really fluffy and very vanilla-y. Vanilla? So that's what it looks like. You can't really see it. But it smells really good. And we're happy. So, let me get back to you. Mm-hmm. Exactly 10 minutes and 54 seconds. Bye. The banana bread is done. Is it? You want me to get it out? No, I want to get it out. Hold on. Let me see you jump on it again. It does look very fluffy. And watch your hand on that thing. Sorry. You don't have to be sorry until you burn yourself. Sorry. Done. It actually doesn't seem that fluffy as it should. Maybe it is. Well, sorry, that was blocking your view. But that's what it looks like. I'll come back to you when it cools. So, the bread, it looks like it's cool. And I took it out of the pan. But it looks like from far away, it looks like meatloaf. And then this, like, right here. Looks like a face. 
Maybe it's just me, but I think it looks like her face. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna have this button. another one and I hope to see you soon and make sure to subscribe and well, see you next time our life with them bye